What's interesting is I didn't try to study the gut. What I've always been trying to study is what are the factors that contribute to what we call residual cardiovascular risk. After you take care of high blood pressure and diabetes and high cholesterol and obesity and all of the risk factors, we still see that over 50% of cardiac events continue to happen. We call that residual cardiovascular disease risk. We collect blood samples and follow people over time and then see can we find chemical signatures in the blood that predict the future development of disease repeatedly. The molecules that we keep finding are arising from gut microbes and the food that we eat. One of the major ways that our microbiome contributes to our health is by generating compounds that are good for us, but also compounds that are bad for us. They tend to come from protein, and some of the compounds that we have found that track with future risk almost exclusively are found in red meat. You can use this information to personalize dietary recommendations. What we eat has a huge impact on our health. Maintaining a healthy diet is just as, if not more important, than taking the medications that we do for treating disease.